Orissa on the east coast of India is a gateway to the ASEAN region. With a robust industrial infrastructure ecosystem and a new investor-friendly industrial policy, Orissa is all set to be the investment destination of choice. Worldwide, economic development and urbanization have created a never-seen-before spike in demand for aluminium products. With one of the fastest growing economic growth in the world, the domestic consumption for aluminium in India is poised to grow manifold, opening up new vistas and opportunities. With over 50% of India's aluminium smelting capacity, Orissa offers a unique opportunity for downstream and ancillary industries in the aluminium sector. The government is promoting downstream clusters in the aluminium sector for which feedstock is committed by the mother plants. To encourage value-added products in the aluminium sector, an exclusive state-of-the-art industrial park is being developed by the government. This unique 223-acre self-contained facility shall have a conducive ecosystem ranging from physical infrastructure, social infrastructure to industry-specific facilities to support the units set up in the park. The Angul Aluminium Park is strategically located abutting National Aluminium Company Limited's smelter plant near National Highway 42. Nalco has uh, chosen Orissa as the destination. We are coming up with a uh, refinery in Davanjodi with 6,000 crore investment. Along with that, we are also going for value-added things like setting up a aluminium park along with IDCO of uh, Government of Orissa uh, so that high-end value products in aluminium can be produced. Through seamless connectivity by road, rail, airport and seaport, the park is strategically located for prospective investors. In addition, Vedanta is also setting up a state-of-the-art plug and produce aluminium park in an area of 240 acres near Jarsu Gurda, adjacent to a smelter facility. Vedanta was one of the first companies to set up operation in Odisha. And today, it is the largest private sector investor in the state. We are very pleased to have invested in the state to the tune of rupees 50,000 crores for the high-tech alumina refinery and smelting facilities along with 3,600 megawatt of power plants. Both the aluminium parks are first-of-their-kind facilities with direct sourcing of molten aluminium from the smelter, thereby drastically bringing down the cost of production besides savings in logistics. These clusters offer opportunities for products in architectural building and construction, casting and forgings, automobile components manufacturing, and electrical and aerospace industries. The Odisha Industrial Policy comprises of several incentives, including employment-based incentives covering reimbursement of cost of power, training subsidy, subsidized rate of land for workers hostel, land and infrastructure development support incentives covering support for setting up power substation, earmark land for setting up ancillary and downstream parks and capital support for setting up a fluent treatment plant. Fiscal incentives including reimbursement of value-added tax, entry tax, employment cost subsidy and interest subsidy. The government of Odisha is recognized for implementation of various technological interventions including integration of services with EBIS, an online portal for synchronized and hassle-free inspections, GIS-based portal to assist in location selection and an online portal for quick resolution of change requests. In addition, a number of other investor-friendly reforms have been implemented by the state to facilitate the investors. Orissa is committed to becoming an investment destination of choice and creating opportunities for business growth. Orissa welcomes investors and entrepreneurs from across the globe 
and dreams to grow along with them. Think Investment. Think Orissa.